polygon reduction feature in XSI is very powerful and fast. By default, the ratio is at 50%. As you can see, the difference between no reduction at 25,000 triangles and a reduction to 14,000 triangles is not even noticeable, and the texture remains intact. Furthermore, a weight map can be used to define the areas affected by the polygon reduction operation. In this example, the weight map defines less influence around the head area. which means that the head will not be affected as much by the polygon reduction. The preserve volume option is pretty self-explanatory. The polygon reduction tool will do its best to preserve the object's volume as it brings down its number of triangles. The quad preservation option controls the amount of quads versus triangles which makes up the mesh. It can be set to keep only quads. Enforcing symmetry during a polygon reduction operation is done by default. If the option is deactivated, the object will lose its symmetry. You can also control the symmetry by connecting a symmetry map. The next tab holds the feature preservation options, which are all activated by default. A quick concept example is boundary preservation on a simple grid. The default setting will keep the grid's boundary intact, whereas when deactivated, the boundaries are affected by the poly reduction. Last but not least, the level of detail or LOD is found under the last tab. The amount of poly reduction per level can be defined under settings. The default is 50%, which means that each time the LOD stage is increased by 1, the resulting mesh polygons will have been reduced by 50% compared to the previous stage and that until the specified maximum ratio is reached. The LOD stage parameter is animatable which means that it can be controlled by an expression or linked parameters that could take into consideration the distance between the object and the camera.